The wheel is turning, ladies and gentlemen, and you cannot slow down. You understand me? And today we are going to cover more ground because we're doing the wheel, baby. We're going to do it. We're going to do it to it. It's time for the wheel. Let's go. What up, hippies? Welcome to Play Dead. I'm Davey. That's not right. Oh. Oh. Well, damn. Anyways. Hey, what's happening? If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you, you get notified every time we drop little goodies that I'm sure you will like. Okay? But I'll tell you about those things at the end of the episode. Because, you know what? You're here for a reason. And that reason is to learn the wheel. And what's awesome about the wheel is that it's one of those songs that has become like, even if you don't like know the wheel right off the bat, you know the line, if the thunder don't get you, then the lightning will. And it's like ubiquitous with like the imagery of the Grateful Dead, you know? Like, and you, you can see behind me here, we have the wheel, like the actual like picture of the wheel, you know? I, I love this song. Like this, this song is definitely like dad wisdom being passed down. This is that, this is that, that thing about the dead that I that I talk about a lot, it's that uh, being content with not knowing what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? Like the, the Grateful Dead's music is is all about being content in the chaos. Like no one knows why we're here, and you're never gonna know why we're here. It's better just to be a good person and move along and and live live your life, feel your feelings, all that jazz. You know what I'm saying? So what's cool, this song was written by Jerry Garcia, Robert Hunter, and Billy, Billy, that's right, Billy Kreutzman helped, helped, helped write this song. You know why? What's fun is that, so Billy and Jerry, so Billy is on Garcia, the, the first studio album by Jerry, right? So he's playing drums on it, and apparently this song came about just from a, a studio jam while they were tracking, and because Jerry said he didn't even have like a rough sketch. They just found a chord progression and went with it. And uh, you can definitely tell by this song. This song is, um, it's, it's not difficult, but it's just a lot consecutively. And it doesn't really, I mean, it, it doesn't, it, it changes each time kind of. So um, we're going to get through it. Don't, don't feel overwhelmed. You got this. We got this. We're going to do great. I believe in you. Who's my Kanye on a Tony the Tiger body? You are. That's right. Okay, so how it breaks down is like this. I know it's, it's a bit. So you've got your intro, right, which is super easy. It's just like a C chord that I'm going to show you and a little bit of a lead line that Jerry would do sometimes. Uh, you've got your chorus, which is like the wheel is turning, right? Um, you've got verse A, which is that uh, um, <clears throat> the won't you try just a little bit harder. And then you've got verse B, which is the round, round, Robin, run around. You spin me right round, Robin, right round, like a record, Robin, right round, round, round. Um, <laughs> so that's verse B. And then from verse B, it's going to go back. You're going to do another chorus the same way, that same, same way we're going to do the regular chorus. And then you do this kind of like interlude into the, wait, what's that? Oh, shit, boys and girls. That's our old friend, the bridge. The bridge is here. The bridge is here. And I'm stoked. And you wouldn't really know it. This whole song is kind of all thumbs. It's all bridges, this song. But I've just, I had to make executive decisions on what to call things. So then you've got this little interlude that leads into the bridge. And then you've got a key change chorus. Your chorus goes up to C instead of staying in G. You, we'll get there and it's okay. Um, but then you just uh, finish it off with another verse A. And that's it, baby. So, and the song is just kind of like, bup, 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 bup. it just kind of continues to go. So every time that Chance in the Void plays this song, uh, I am out of breath uh, because I sing this one and it is just, it just doesn't stop. The wheel is turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't hold on. It's like a perfect, the, the lyrics write the song, if that makes any sense, like, or the song wrote the lyrics. It's, it's weird. It's interesting. I love it. Um, so this was written for the 1972 album Garcia, uh, and uh, the Dead played the wheel for 30 years. They played it from 75 to 95 till the end, uh, which is which is really cool uh, because I mean you would kind of have to because of like what the song means to everybody and things like that. So let's get into our intro. 
Oh, I can't wait. I know you're excited, so let's do it. Hey, how'd you get in here? I'm just kidding. I left the door unlocked. I know. I knew you were coming. Anyways, there's your cords. It's just the one cord, right? But then there's your little tab. Super easy. So what we're going to do is you're going to listen to me real quick, and then we're going to break it down like we always do. So let's do it. little piece of chicken hey that wasn't too bad was it so what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with this C so what I want you to do is I want you to make a regular C chord right but then what I would like you to do is take your ring finger move that up to the E string on the third fret and then put your pinky on that C and then we're just gonna get a really full C right so what that is you're adding a G to it and it just kind of fills out the whole like dynamic range of the chord so what I want you to do is, and then I want you to move your middle finger, and then you're going to hammer it back on, so bum, bum, da -da. and I usually palm mute that bum, bum, right? So you could do it open, but it doesn't sound as good. So I would say palm mute that if you can. So. so literally the only thing you're doing to make it sound beautiful is you're moving. Moving that and hammering it back on. Cool? So you're just hammering back onto that second fret on the D string. That's also so that's also kind of like your settling melody. So after after a lot of these these sections or verses, choruses, whatever you want to call them, these sections, you're gonna kind of like that's your home, that C. So get comfortable with it. And you can always do that backwards scrape. Right? So that's, I'm just on a C chord and just scraping from the high E down to the low E. And that, that, that also allows a little bit of, you know, it differentiates and changes it up, adds a little bit of variety, you know? Variety is the mwah, spice of life, ladies and germs. Anyway, so, all right, so now we're going to move on to the, um, the little lead line that you heard, right? So it is, you're going to start, you're going to start on that third fret on the A string, so and that's your C root. And then you're gonna hit the octave, so you're gonna hit the fifth fret on the G string, so. Cool, and then you're gonna immediately hit the five on the D string, so. Cool, it'll sound like that. Cool, and then you're gonna go back to that G string and you're gonna slide from the fifth fret to the seventh fret, so. Right? So, easy peasy, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit that fifth fret on the D string again. So, and then you're going to hit the fifth fret on the G string again to kind of round it out, hit that C again. So, and sometimes I'll just kind of hit that seven on the D string just to just to move us back in and I'll just slide it down to go and hit that C root again. So.
Okay, and that's your intro, ladies and germs. Boys and goyles. <laughs> that's your intro, people. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on into that first chorus. Cool, the first wheel chorus. So let's uh, do it. Evening. Welcome to the chorus. Chorus chords. Easy peasy. So it's a G and C three times and then FBC. That's your thunder don't get to the lightning will. Got me? Listen to me do it and we'll break it down. You get too hasty. I told you how this works. You know how this goes. Okay. Wheels turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't hold on. You can't go back and you can't stand still. The thunder don't get you in the lightning wheel. See? See, this only gets hard when you put everything together and you have to remember all these different these different patterns, right? So um, we're going to start on a G. So wheel is turning and you can't slow. And on down, you're going to hit a C. Down. Go back to G. You can't let go and you can't hold on. On on, you hit that C again, right? So wheel is turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't Hold on. Now, see, I like to hit this C first because it's a little bit higher, and then I like to go a little bit lower for this the second C, and I just do that same one we opened with, right? Wheel is turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't hold on. You can't go back and you can't stand still, right? The same thing, you hit still, that C. Now, this is the fun part. You go to F, the thunder don't get you. B flat, the lightning, and then C. Wheel, wheel. That shit, okay? So, wheel is turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't hold on. You can't go back and you can't stand still. If the thunder don't get you, then the lightning C, and then you chill on that C, do that intro. And then that leads us into verse A. So let's get the verse A then. Ugh. All right, verse A is just F, B flat, and C. Okay, so listen to me do it, and then we'll do it. Cool, 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 cool. Don't you try just a little bit harder. Don't you try just a little bit more. Don't you try just a little bit harder. Don't you try just a little bit All right, see, it's just, it is just not hard. Okay, so, but what I like to do is I like to do it. I like to do an E to F, so an open E, and then hit that first fret on the E string to hit that F, because you're on a C, so. Won't you try just a little bit harder? Couldn't you try just a B flat to C? And then for this first one, so the first time you do this, at least on the, the studio version, what would happen is there would be a break between the, the, the so you do, won't you try just a little bit harder, won't you try just a little bit more, do that C twice, do it again. Won't you try just a little bit harder, couldn't you try just a little bit and then immediately from there, you go into the second or verse B, which is the round, round, robin, run around. So let's immediately go into that because this was super easy, right? So it's just the F, B flat, C twice. And then you do the, you 
do that twice, and then you go back, do that twice, right? And then go into verse B, which is what we're going to do right now. Round, round, robin, run around, get to it, and here we go. What's happening, you little dirty bird? Here we go, verse B. So listen to me, then we do. Okay, coo. All right, so this is this one's a little bit weird. This one's a little bit tricky, right? So it's round, round, robin, run around, right? So it's won't you try just a little bit more? Round, round, robin, run around. So you go from that C directly to that G for that round, round. Okay, so round, round, robin, run around. So hit a C there, and then you go back to G. Gotta get back where you belong. Hit a D. Hit D that time. So gotta get back where you be today. So then you go back to G, and that's the little bit harder, just a little bit more. And you stay on G for that. So little bit harder, just a little bit more. Now to D. Little bit further than you gone before. And you go back to G. So little bit further than you gone to G. And then you hit a chorus again. You hit that same that same regular chorus, so it's on G. Little bit further than you gone before. Well, the wheel is turning and you can't slow down. Got me? You do that that way, and it's really powerful. It's such a powerful song. I can't believe they just wrote it with a jam. One of the best songs ever written. Just written just like, like that when they were writing an album that's already full of fucking prolific songs. If you guys haven't listened to Garcia, go do it. It's like, it's, it's where like probably some of your favorite Grateful Dead songs are from. So now we've got this, this cool little thing that I'm going to go ahead and show you that is like the pre bridge. So you've got that, that chorus, the thunder dome, which is in the lightning wheel. F, B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat, C. Cole, you, you remember that. The thunder don't get you, then the lightning will. Cool. And then from there, it goes into, yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, what? What's that thing? What's that thing that goes from one side of the water over to the other side of the water or over some sort of crevasse or some, some form of... Uh, you know, naturally occurring divot. It's the bridge, baby. So we're gonna do that bridge now, baby. Here we go. Hey, welcome to the bridge. This is one of my favorite bridges of all time. So it's the small wheel turn by the fire and rod. Ugh. Big wheel turned by the grace of God. So good. It's so fucking good, guys. Okay? So now we're gonna we're, we're gonna you're gonna watch me do it, and then we're gonna do it. And then you're gonna do it. Okay. Small wheel turned by the fire and rod. Big wheel turned by the grace of God. Every time that wheel turned round, down to cover just a little more ground. You watched me do it, and now it is your turn to do it, okay? So we're going to do C, so small wheel turn by the fire and rod. So it's basically that same, the same thing we've been doing the whole time, that same kind of way of hitting the chords, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do C to F, so small wheel turn by the fire and rod, big wheel turn by the grace of God, 
Every time that wheel turned round, you bound to cover just a little more ground. And then just hit a fucking hard ass seat. Bound to cover just a little more ground. Okay? And then now we go into our key change chorus, which is the same. You're going to do it the exact same way, but instead of doing a G and C, you're doing a C and F. So you've got, you've, you've changed keys. So, bound to cover just a little more ground. The wheel is turning and you can't slow down. You can't let go and you can't hold on. You can't go back and you can't stand still. If the thunder don't get you, then the lightning will. So the end of it is exactly the same. You still hit that F, B flat, C, right? And then after that, you hit another won't you try just a little bit harder? Couldn't you try just a little bit more? And that's still the same. You still do that same thing, but you don't add that rest on C in the middle. You just power all the way through all four, right? So it'll be like, won't you try just a little bit harder? Couldn't you try just a little bit more? Won't you try just a little bit harder? Couldn't you try just a little bit more? Then it's C Jam, baby. I'm so proud of you. I know that you guys have been asking for this one a lot, and I'm happy to finally do it. Um, I hope you guys like. I hope you guys really get out there and make this your own because there's this song. This song is like a blank canvas. There's so much you can do on either end of this just giant block because you play this just straight through. You play it all, all this, all this nonsense straight through, unless you want to pause on some, on some C's and stuff. But you gotta really make sure you've got this shit ingrained, or getting back in and like hitting those marks is, is kind of hard. I find it easier just to like bust through the whole thing and jam on either end of all of the words. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up. Oh, hey, I'm proud of you. I love you. Just that's just, that should just be uh, that should just go unsaid. But I'm not gonna leave it unsaid because I care about you and I care about your self worth. And you need some positive reinforcement because I do love you and I walk with you throughout life. Davy is with you always. Understood? Understood. Okay. So now I'm gonna set up a little loop just in that C, just doing that C chord, and I'm gonna make it pretty. Pretty. I'm gonna make it pretty. I'm gonna make it pretty, pretty and fluttery, pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna set that up and we're gonna do it. Mwah. All right, family, I've got my loop set up. It's just that that pretty C. I've got that on a loop, and I've just got another, just kind of going over it to like make it make it flow and meld a little bit more. So I'm probably just gonna go clean, do some clean fluttery stuff uh, with a little bit of delay, maybe. And that'll be it. And uh, we're in C, C major. Um, and there's even like, if you've got a volume pedal, because there's like lap steel in this song, you know? So if you've got a volume pedal, try to fuck around with like some kind of pedal steel stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be throwing that idea in a little bit. I might start it out with that. Uh, but uh, But yeah, just have fun with it, guys. Let's do it.
that was, eh, it was all right. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching another episode of Play Dead. I hope you got what you wanted out of it. And if you didn't, shove it up your ass, okay? Love you. Uh, go watch all of the other stuff we do. We do a drink and a joint podcast. We do loose beats. We do so many live streaming events. It's insane. You've got content coming out like every day of the week on this channel. It is totally worth your subscription. If you are fiscally responsible enough to give to people on Patreon, why not us? We're totally worth it. You know, uh, if the content we put out isn't enough, you know, you can you can just give us five to 20 to $100 a month over on Patreon. You get even more stuff. You get a bang for your buck. You get the Discord. You get extra, extra shows that we put time into. You know, it's not just us in, you know, and putting them up. We put work in, put work in all the time. Okay. So I love you. Thank you for being here. I will see you in the next one. And remember, there's no way off this thing. So we might as well be together, right? So let's do it together. Love you.